welcome back to another video. It is Jatan with all things Jatan. And today we are going to be doing a clean with me quick video. My house is a mess. Taylor had like a little stomach bug going on. Um, so I just want to go ahead and wash and disinfect everything. And have a great start to the beginning of the week. When I'm cleaning, I love to start with laundry first. Just because while I'm cleaning, you got that fresh smell going on. And to be honest with you, laundry takes the longest. So, might as well start with the messiest area and then work your way around. Asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. Moving on to the dryer, we are going to fold up these clothes today, okay? We're not going to leave them sitting around anywhere. We're going to get it done and over with. And we're going to also put these clothes up. Moving on from the laundry room, I'm now in my loft. This is where I'm gonna go ahead and dust. I have Transformation Church on. Listening to that, I'm gonna dust my TV, my shelves, as well as disinfect this area. Yesterday was hair day, so I really needed a vacuum and everything because this is the area and space that I did the hair in. try to give myself time limits that's why I pick what I'm gonna do that will take like the longest to finish because I will get distracted y'all and next thing you know you'll look up and it's hours later <laughs> on the washer have stopped so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the dryer and get right back to my cleaning this little acrylic thing that I keep my dryer sheets in I love it you guys I found it on Amazon if I can find the link, I'll link it in the description box down below. Real quick, I wanted to come on and tell you guys, I featured this in another video. I can't remember if it was a Clean With Me video, but the Castle Luna brand, Room Spray. This one right here, Serenity, with sage and mint to encourage calm. And if y'all hear my TV, I'm watching my cousin um, and her boyfriend, well, uh, their channel, uh, Turbo Tony. I'm watching that, they're doing a uh, snack try, but I'm spraying this in the kids' room and in my room and in the room of like the common areas. 
moving right along I told you guys this was going to be a quick video I'm now in Jordan slash the room that Taylor took over um, it only made sense that while Jordan was up in Delaware Taylor can be up on the main floor with us and then when Jordan comes here to visit she'll get the downstairs bedroom I'm finally making my way to putting up the clothes that I got when I did the Old Navy haul. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I will link the information in the description box down below. Now I said this before, whenever I'm doing laundry or putting away clothes, I always like to see what I can let go of just to make more room. So you see me taking out stuff because I give y'all good niece the opportunity to put her own clothes away and she just throws it in there. So I took out some things to fold them up and I also threw some things to the side because I already have a bag that I plan on donating of things that Jordan nor Taylor and Kaysen can fit any longer. So while I'm in Taylor's room, I'm also folding up the covers on her bed. These are blankets and everything that I recently washed. I'm just waiting on the laundry load that has her sheets to be finished so I can go ahead and put them on the bed and make her bed. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Sat beside in your car in the backseat. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Now I'm in Kaysen's room and I said I was not going to go in here and do this because she's old enough to straighten up and do her room on her own. She normally makes her bread in the morning but for some reason I don't know what happened on this particular day but it didn't get done. So I'm just removing her blanket and just fixing it because like I said she didn't make it before she left the house. But this is normally stuff that, as an eight-year-old, almost nine-year-old, she can do on her own. The way if you see that little rectangle shaped thing on the floor that is her cell phone what child or person in today's world leaves the house without their phone that's because she's never on it other than to be playing games um yes yeah, so i'm gonna have to remind her to make sure that when she leaves the house she has her phone on it. This is the hallway bathroom and the bathroom that the kids share upstairs. And I don't know about y'all and your household, but I'll be wondering like what be going on with the mirror because why is the mirror always a mess? Like the days that she's supposed to barely like clean the bathroom or Sunday and Wednesday. So with today being Monday, what you just didn't do the mirror sis? I'll be confused. we are now downstairs in the kitchen and I have stuff everywhere just mainly things that I haven't put up um, dishes that I gotta wash dishes I gotta load in the dishwasher so 
we're gonna get through this and if you notice i got on a change of clothes because i had to go pick up the kids had to run past the store so i just gotta put some things up <laughs> But I promise you this was a quick video. I just kept getting a little bit distracted. So I hope this video serves as motivation for someone. One of the things my kids have been enjoying are these mandarin oranges. So I, when I went to the store, I had to stock up on some more of those. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill up my refrigerator container with those and put them back up and make sure that I wipe down the space and everything in the drawers. So if you recall, when I first came down to the kitchen, I had things everywhere. So a lot of this stuff has since been put up. Um, so I'm about to move on to like my dining room area, mop the floors and everything, which is why I have my chairs pulled out. Now I will wipe down my countertops about 20 times as you guys could see Kaysen was in this video. Um, so I'm just making sure that I wipe down the countertops yet again because I don't know what she was messing with, what she wasn't messing with. But this method, all purpose cleaner, smells amazing. It's like literally one of my favorites. That and the degreaser from method um i order mine off of grove collaborators i will put the link in the description and in, in the description box down below um they also will send you a free gift if you've never signed up with them here i'm cleaning out my frother and if you notice that i don't clean the bottom it's because it's an electric frother and you cannot get the bottom wet so that's why i had to clean it like that i clean it inside and the sides really well and put it right back on its little docking station. I also make sure to clean out the sink once all the dishes have been removed. This is like a step that I swear by every night. I give it a really good scrub down. And these are the little scrub daddy sponges. So I usually add like some type of dish soap, which I use Dawn. I use um, also the not Ajax or not um, Comet, but it's just like that. It's just less hard, so it doesn't leave your sink with scratches and everything like that. Once I clean out the sink, I like to just take a disinfectant wipe just to wipe it down and then dry it down with a paper towel as well. Just because you have water splashing, things of that nature, um, I just want to make sure that I get everything <laughs> like I said before.
Now, I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. I love this mop. I have several uh, replacements. And what I do is just pop off the actual mop part and throw it in a dishwasher. Not dishwasher, I'm sorry. Into the washer with some bleach and my um, Lysol disinfectant. And it comes out just like brand new each and every time. So, that's a perfect way to like save on coins and cleaning products is to get things that you can just replace or refill instead of having to buy the whole thing all over again. Now, as you guys can see, I've showed this in another vlog previously. The Christmas tree is up. Um, I'm pretty satisfied. I don't think I add anything else just because I had a hard time finding things in the store. Like you would not believe. I'm still not sure what I would like to put under the TV. But I'm no longer in that rush to like fill my space. So if you notice in my dining room area, there's still not a rug there. Um, I'm just taking my time and really enjoying. It will be a year in December that I've been in my home. I'm thankful. I'm so blessed. And I also want to take a moment to shout out my good sis, Sheena. She sent me a DM yesterday telling me that she found the Airwick containers that allow you to switch out the wallflowers from um, Bath and Body Works. And I mentioned this before. If you put them in there, it will have that little stream um, that will come out of the Airwick container. So I'm super excited. I will try to link that in the description box below. And I just want to shout y'all all out because we stick together. Like if I say something in these vlogs and I can't find something or y'all need something, we look out for each other. And that's what it's about. Like when I tell y'all the sisterhood that we have, I couldn't ask for a better community. Um, and if you've watched up until this point, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you a part of the family. So here is the final result. With my floor being wet, I have to just go ahead and put everything under the sink, like my cleaning products and stuff like that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.